Hi, welcome back to Bike Forever. So, this is a quick update video on this uh, ZX81 uh, that I got off eBay. Just move it into centre a little bit. So, previous video I showed I was getting some kind of signal out of the ULA. I'll just get something to point with a bit more. Uh, oh, oscilloscope probably. <laughs> so, this is the ULA, this is the ROM. And that's the Z80 CPU, and, and these two chips, the memory chip. Uh, obviously, all this is really well documented. Um, I'll put a link actually into uh, where I got the schematic from. Uh, I was struggling to get a schematic because a lot of the the ones were scannings and uh, weren't that clear. But someone kindly took the effort of redrawing it in a CAD package, and it's actually really good. So I'll put a link to that in the description. Mainly for my reference, actually, in case I need to get back to that. Um, so, what I did is I was getting something out of pin 16 on the ULA, which is the TV signal. So it was at least worth uh, soldering up um, composite mods. Because this is an early ULA, it's um, 1980, the 49th week of 1981. These are prone to failure, and actually... That's exactly what's happened uh, since I was kind of, well, I've had this board powered on for a bit while I was trying to get this working. And yeah, that, that ULA is not outputting anything on pin 16. It's not outputting anything on the clock pin, which is pin 14. So CPU here on pin 6 is not getting any clock. Consequently, nothing else is working. No, it's, yeah, it's just effectively... It's consuming a bit of power because the heatsink does get a bit warm. Five volts is fine. I've checked all the power and ground on all the other on the chips. <laughs> say all the other chips. I mean, on the four, five chips that are. <laughs> um, I haven't replaced capacitors or anything else. I haven't really uh, checked much else on the PCB. Uh, I think what I need to get this replacement ULA which is um this is coming from sellmyretro.com so it's the VLA eighty one. I thought it was worth getting that and uh, putting that in rather than risking um you know pulling a chip out of the other ZX81 that I know works and uh, damaging it. I just thought right just get the VLA eighty one. Um that was probably I think it was £31, so yeah, it's worth, I think it's worth doing, just to get this working. It's actually quite a, a tidy board, the edge, edge connect is quite good, not very much wear on that, it's really clean, just a bit of a shame about that ULA, but uh, it, it's well documented, they are fairly prone to um, failure, so there you go, that's what happened. Uh, I don't know if there's any if anyone knows of any other ways of testing this. Uh, then you know if the ULA is dead, what do you, can you can you do anything to test it? Or is there any way of working out? Is there any point actually in trying to go further once the chip's dead? I guess it's dead. There's nothing you can change in there. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's just a quick update. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.